Hi guys, good to see you again. Welcome back to the channel, I hope you're all well. Well, as I said in my last video, I was planning to go over to Marlborough today, about an hour and a half away, to a woodland called Seven Ake. But as I was driving through the forest, I saw a lot of mist and it just stopped me in my tracks. So I've ended up in the new forest again, <laughs> which isn't a surprise really. I love the place. But um, anyway, it was the mist that stopped me. So I've got the girls with me, so I've got the leads on quick, got the collars on got the kit out, off I went. And as I walked towards what looked like a misty area, obviously as I got towards it, the mist dispersed. So it was a bit of a trick of the eye really. So, <laughs> but I stayed in here and I've been walking round and obviously looking down the forest drives and, and the, the footpaths, looks really misty in the distance, but as you get towards it, obviously it disperses and goes thinner. So I thought, how about putting the 70 to 200 on to try and keep that depth? So that's what I've ended up with. Obviously on the 5D Mark IV. Now I've found what I think is a nice composition. I've got a lovely gap in the canopy again, a bit like what I found a couple of weeks ago on that dead beach. But this time I've got th three or four pines that are really well lit and re they really attract your eye. But just this side of the pines, I've got four or five oaks, one of which is catching the light as well. So I've got a nice green oaky look, just taking you across the frame. Bottom of the frame, I've got, well, framed either side of the image, I've got two oaks closer towards me that are quite dark, but quite tidy. One of which has got a branch coming out at the bottom of the frame, full of leaf. So that covers the, the, the sort of quarter, if not third of the frame at the base of the frame, which is nice. And then obviously in the top of the frame, I've got all the oak leaves again, and the gnarly branches from the oaks, which just frames the nice light coloured pines really nicely so I'm pretty chuffed with this obviously on the 7200 5d mark 4 I'm at 100 mil there is a little bit of mist about still so so that's just capturing that nicely so my plan sort of worked um, shooting at 0.4 of a second at f11 and I say I'm really chuffed with this so uh, the mist is lifting a bit now but uh, there's a little bit of drizzle in the air so it's perfect conditions really so hopefully you'll like this frame I'll pop it up now, hope you like it guys. So as you can imagine, a lot of the forest is just pine after pine after pine. But every now and again, you come across, you know, all sorts. It's literally, you just, there's, obviously there's thousands and thousands of acres to, to wander around. And every now and again, you come across, you know, a nice gap in the canopy with that light that I've just, just captured. But uh, we'll keep on having a walk around, see what else we can find. So this is the sort of thing that I'm after. I'm not sure if the camera can really pull it out properly, but, uh, and obviously it, it won't work in this instance because the tree itself is far too tall, but uh, the light that's being caught by the top of that, 
that dead oak or dead beech can't really tell from here but uh, is absolutely tremendous but if I just turn that down I don't know if it will step out of the way and it will focus on the tree but I don't know if it will really pick it up probably not but it's just that tree there is uh, it's it's a really it's really well lit from the canopy but obviously it's about 30 foot too tall <laughs> but uh, anyway never mind we'll carry on So I've just come across this footpath, small, nice little footpath, bit of a windy twisty one, nice leading line. And uh, what caught my eye was the light that was just catching some of the grass and some of the bracken that's now dying off. Autumn's on the way, yes. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I thought it was quite nicely lit, just, just in the midground of the path. And obviously the leading line, the path takes your eye towards just a single tall, pine in the distance it's it's not the best of frames really but i just thought the light was quite nice so um obviously as you've just seen i focus sort of midway along the path i'm at 0.4 of a second f11 iso 100 and um i say it was just the light that caught my eye really but uh it is beginning to drizzle quite heavy now i'm absolutely soaked from walking through all the bracken didn't bring my leggings what a fool but uh, still enjoying it and the girls are having a great time so uh, anyway i hope you like this image guys i'll pop it up now So I've come across a tree, a scene, should I say, that it nearly works. It's nearly what I'm after. Some lovely light coming through the canopy, but the tree is about 10 foot too tall again. <laughs> but uh, so frustrating, I'm nearly there. We've got an oak one side, some pines and an oak the other. And I think it's, I think it's a dead oak, but uh, the light on it's lovely, but it's just a bit too tall. There is light coming down into the base of the tree and just lighting up the, the, the dying off bracken, but it just doesn't quite work. <laughs> bit frustrating, but I'm getting there. I've nearly found the scene I'm after. You know, that scene where there's just one tree that's fully lit with just darkness around it, but uh, we'll get there. I'm gonna see what I can do in post. I might be able to make something of it. And if I can, I'll pop it up now.
Well, there's quite a few folk about now with dogs and uh, if I can keep these two off the lead, I like to, so I'll have to pop them on the lead now. And uh, we've had a good four hours at it. Unfortunately, there was no more compositions to be said uh, to be seen in uh, in that lighter area, but I've had a good look round. Hopefully, I think I've got definitely got one good frame anyway. See what we can make of that one that was nearly there, but not quite. <coughs> Excuse me. And um, yeah, thoroughly enjoyed the morning again. Perfect conditions, really. The mist has obviously gone a bit now and there's a bit of drizzle about, which is still really nice conditions, but I'm about ready for a bit of brekkie and a coffee, and I'm sure these two are ready for their brekkie, so jobs are good and really. Absolutely soaked to the skin, but uh, never mind, it's all worth it. I've had a good scope around again. So uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed that, guys. Leave any comments below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. It's always great to hear from you. And uh, jobs are good and hope you enjoyed that, guys. Take care, catch up soon.